Structure Scan 3D is a whole new transducer. When you compare it to the old Structure Scan, the old one we had three elements in the transducer. One, like if you look at the long transducer itself, there's three elements. One for down scan and one for each side. Yeah. Now, with the Structure Scan 3D, we've got seven elements in there. So the seven elements, you've got one for down scan, two, like one on each side for the transmission for the side scan picture, and then you've got two receivers on each side as well. Like, you know, in the video cameras and stuff, they have the, like, say, twin GoPros so that you can get the 3D depth yeah, perception yeah. for 3D. Same thing happens with the Structure Scan 3D. You've got those two elements to get that, even though they're only millimeters apart, we're talking the speed of sound, so it's quite easy to, it's, it's quite a distance, you know? So you've got seven elements in the transducer. They're also slightly tilted out a bit more when you look at the schematic of them. So compared to the old one, which was more down, this is really shooting out sideways. So when we're driving past things like pylons and, things and, and yeah. other actual big structures thrown off of the ground, I can go see them a lot further away than before. Like that's 10 meters, that's 20 meters. We'll be able to go further and further as we go past these ones over here and you'll see the actual pylon still show up further away. You've got 20 meters. But that's not in 3D. That's in 2D. This yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, so this is the 2D picture still at the moment. So we've got in like double the distance, double the resolution compared to the old HD structure scan in the normal 2D picture. That's a 12 and that's a 16. So 2D picture on this side, the 3D pictures on this side here. It's just a flat bottom, there's nothing exciting at the moment. But it's cool, get a bit of two. Well, that's all the air bubbles and stuff in the water at the moment. Uh, there's the pipeline. The there's 3D. the pipeline. That's it there. You, on see, the it on the other you see it on the other side there, look, see it, faintly. I don't know about that faintly, that's pretty easy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. So on the 3D, if we um, go into cursor mode, we can scroll back and have a look at it from different angles. So you can see the pipes coming across here. Zoom in more. So see, if you've never used this before, you can sit here and go, oh, there's definitely some sort of big lump off the ground. Yeah, there. yeah. Right. So here's the boat, looking out the side, this is the actual seaway wall, and you can see it coming right up as a, uh, as a sharp edge. On the normal 2D picture, yeah. you can see the actual um, front edge of that rocks and getting close to the boat okay. here, but if you've never used it, like I say, it, it doesn't make sense straight away. On this, the 3D, you put it here and you can see, oh yeah, there's a big wall there, there's a bit of a hole here as well. It's like playing around with 3D Google Earth or something, I love it. So the actual rocks, they show up as these bright white targets on the seabed and you can see the shadow right next to it. That's that little dark spot next to these rocks. If it was a fish sitting right down on the seabed, you'll see the target, then you'll see a couple of pixels gap and then the actual shadow from the fish on the other side. Sometimes the actual shadow for a fish is what tells you what kind of fish it is as well. Like you see these guys that are barra fishing, you'll see the shape of a barra in the actual shadow, not so much the actual fish signal bouncing back to the boat. And on 3D? And on 3D, all these rocks are in here. So you see the shadows. So see why it's still good to have the 2D picture, but 3D gives you that real obvious idea of where the rocks are sitting, where the rock wall is coming out. Yeah. So the Gold Coast Seaway could, uh, waterways could probably use this to work out where it's uh, drifting, where, where, the, where they need to dredge or where yeah. the actual rock wall is collapsing into the seaway at the moment. And then on the 3D side, you can see the actual profile of the seabed a lot easier by looking on the 3D picture than you can on the normal 2D picture. And see there's two pipelines here now. Yeah. That's one pipeline, that's yeah. the one that goes right across the seaway. You and this is the other one that goes you down. Enough, you so there's the two pipelines, one across there and one across there. You see the lump on the ground here on the 2D picture and there's some little specks, possibly fish sitting on top of it. When you come over to the 3D screen on this side here, I can get in right on top of that and see these little orange dots. And there's something like, not these ones, these are the bubbles from the boat, but these ones here and these ones here are actually fish sitting on top of that structure. So obviously they're waiting for that bait fish or whatever to get washed over the top of that lump and they're having their free feed on the other side. Very, very, very important part with the Structure Scan 3D. It's only compatible with HDS uh, Gen 3 products or Simrad NSS Evo 2 and NSO Evo 2. Okay, so only the latest products. Unfortunately, it will not work on a HDS Gen 2, Gen 1 or older, of course. You know, I told you how there's seven elements inside the transducer. The processing power inside the box is quite substantial like, to, to process it all. 
So we've got almost the same amount of power as what we put into one of these big screens built into the box just for the structure scan 3D to make sure it runs in a timely manner and not too slow. So that's why it's a separate box and why it's a whole new transducer. So you see the 2D sort of horseshoe shape here in the ground coming across onto the 3D picture. But you can see that actual sort of horseshoe shape in here. And the fish there, the fish there. See how oh, you have yeah. the big white signal for the actual beacon itself? Oh, yeah. And then the long shadow that goes right out. Because it's coming and it's breaking the surface of the water, the shadow will go all the way out off the side of the boat, off the screen. If it's a, a like a tree stump in a freshwater dam or something and it's only this far off the bottom, you'll see the white signal and then you'll see the shadow will stop around about there because you'll know that way it's not coming all the way to the surface.